Welcome back guys to the channel. I told you guys I'm gonna be getting a couple videos out this week. This is the same day I recorded my other video, which is putting on the lip. So far I love how it looks, but that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is how much did it really cost me to wrap my entire car. I noticed a lot of people was asking me how much did it cost me to wrap my entire car. I still haven't wrapped the rear bumper, I have the wrap for it, so that's already my expenses that I already paid for. So guys, so how I ended up buying my wrap is that I ended up buying it in proportions. I didn't buy it all as a single piece. Everyone's like, Tommy, did you use 5x30, 5x35, 5x40? Um, to be honest with you guys, I went port like uh, like 5x10, 5x5 until I pretty much got the entire car done because I didn't even have all the money at that one time to wrap the entire car. So I did like every check I got, I, I spent like half of it on my car, which was around, I think it was like 5x10, was about 100 bucks. And every time I got 5x10, I do like one side of the car, other side of the car, and then the hood, the roof, the, the trunk, front bumper, uh, side fenders, I believe those are also separate because the doors, I had to get it wrapped around. I would not use one ginormous piece to put on the side of the car because then how are you going to tuck it behind the doors to make sure it's going to be safe? How are you going to tuck it underneath the, the trim to make sure it doesn't come out when you're washing the car? In theory, um, an estimate to how much I really, really paid for this. I would have, it would be somewhere in the range of seven, I'd probably say no, no, eight to nine hundred dollars to wrap the car. Um, now this is doing it myself. This is just for the material. Uh, people are saying that why'd you why'd you buy Avery? On, uh, you could use other cheaper brands like Vivid and whatnot. Now, Vivid's a pretty good brand, but I've honestly bought the wrap before and I didn't like how it stretched. I didn't like how it felt. Um, with Avery. You don't need any water first off, so this is one of the one of one of the few wraps that don't need water. It has holes within the wrap that you don't you can't phys physically see, but these holes allow you to pop out bubbles or whatever that are in the middle of the wrap. So you don't have to keep peeling it off, putting it back on, because the more you peel and the more you put back on, it causes more damage to the wrap and causes it to st stick less. Because the f every time you peel something like tape, every time you peel it up and you put it back on, it doesn't stick the same as it did the first time. Um, the magic is just gone at that point. So yeah, in theory, I spent about eight to nine hundred dollars to wrap the entire car. Uh, was it worth it? Yes. Do I love the color? That's a whole nother question. Now I wrapped this color in this theme, so I it's mainly for my YouTube channel. Um, you know, I want to set myself apart. Uh, basically, you know, trying to have a brand for myself. Trying to like when I drive around, on people know who I am. Now, is this my favorite color? No. This is not like people's like, wow, your taste is interesting. This is kind of a flashy teen wrap that I enjoy at this age. Um, eventually when I get my wide body kit, when I slap that on there, probably in a year or something like that, because wide body kit is another 1500 bucks. I can't get that for a while with the current situation I am with my two cars and school. So when I get my wide body kit, I'm probably going to end up painting the car, getting the car painted uh, a dark gray color, uh, like this elegant dark gray color that I really, really loved keeping the, uh, the roof black. I'm probably actually going to keep that wrapped because I like the roof. Um, and just get the whole car dark gray with the wide body because it's just an elegant color with the interior is also, you know, brown. It's just, it's just a nice classy mix. So that's the future plans for this car when it comes to like the, if I were going to change the wrap. But for now, for the next, you know, the couple years, this is how, well, maybe the next, I don't know, guys. It's honestly maybe a year or two, maybe until I finish college. This is going to be the wrap. I love it, don't get me wrong, but is it me? Not 100%. It's uh, mainly for, you know, the name. Uh, trying to, you know, distinguish yourself when you're in a crowd and people can actually, you know, ask you questions and I'll be like, yeah, um, I did this myself. This is a wrap, this is not painted because if you paint, I think um, there's this guy on Elk, in, uh, Elk Grove, which is where I currently live. Many of you guys already know this because of, you know, videos I've taken in the park. There's this guy that lives around my area. Uh, he was a Smurfs WRX's channel. Uh, he has a GTR. I don't know if you guys have seen it. it it's color shifting GTR, and uh, the GTR was actually painted in this color shifting uh, paint, and it cost him around fifty thousand dollars, I believe. Now that's an absurd amount of money for someone, you know. I mean, even in a GTR, the GTR you could probably get a used GTR nowadays for sixty grand. So imagine just the paint job is, uh, uh, you know, fifty grand, but. To be honest with you guys, I've seen it in person, it's insane. It's just, you know, it's nothing nothing comes close to matching the brightness and the texture and, you know, the contrast that it gives. So, wrapping the car is an alternative. Uh, I did it myself, so what's eight to $900? Now, if you take it to a shop, 
this kind of a color is going to cost you a whole lot more than just a solid color. Solid color would rough, r roughly be around $2,500 to $3,500 to wrap from a shop. Uh, now this is probably like a cheaper end shop, not like the one all the YouTubers have been going to. Now if you take it to like, you know, I don't, I'm not going to say any names, but some like well-known companies, around with this wrap, you're probably looking around five to six thousand uh, dollars to wrap your entire car. Now, if you ask me, is it worth wrapping your car five, six thousand dollars? Why not? I mean, um, the thing is, if you're going to keep it for four to five years, I would do it in a color like how I did it, something that you know uh, is different, um, because what what wrap was mainly for is meant to protect your paint. It's um, you know, it's, it's, it, it, when it first was made, it was meant to protect your paint. But now people started making colors and cool designs, so we use it also as a, uh, as a, you know, a style. So that, again, guys, that price is the price that I have for myself. That is with a little bit of wiggle room to mistakes. I did end up wasting about 100 bucks, probably like 150 and But actually, to be honest with you guys, probably even like $200 worth of wrap that I probably messed up on. So... We're saying like $900 with $200 worth of mistakes. So, but I mean, I'm assuming that if you guys are gonna be doing this your first time, you guys are gonna end up making the same mistakes I have, unless you watch my videos and learn from my mistakes and then attempted it for you guys, you, you know yourselves. Then um, you probably you'd even you know wrap your car in this color for 700 bucks. Now you can even wrap it in a solid color for around four to five hundred dollars. Now it is very very you know it's it's a reasonable price to wrap your car. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all that. Pretty much already told you the price. I told you how, you know, what color I would have chose if I wanted, which would have been dark gray, a classy gray. Um, I pretty much told you guys everything about price-wise and um, what it's used for. It's really meant to protect your paint. So if you have a nice colored car and you want to protect the paint for, you know, in the future, then a wrap is a really, really good way to go. Um, would I prefer wrap over paint? Probably not, to be 100% honest. With you. But the thing is, when you paint a car, it loses value. When you wrap a car, it doesn't lose a value. Um, when you sell it to someone, it's actually, you could even gain value um, as long as you take pictures of how the car looked and how the car looked after you wrapped it within a you know a reasonable time frame, so they understand that it hasn't been involved in an accident. You haven't put on some cheap parts to wrap it, um, so that kind of stuff. So I'm actually going to put a poll up here if I end this video. Uh, whether you'd rather have your car painted or wrapped because uh, I'm actually super curious. Let me know in the comments what kind of color or wrap you would do to your car and let me know in the poll whether you would wrap it or paint it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy.